welcome to the 1987 Hunter 37 Legend, uh, currently named Jupiter, Coast Guard registered in a sole asset LLC that is transferable. Uh, exterior components come with a Bruce style anchor on 25 foot of chain and 300 feet of road, a Harkin furler system that was replaced in 2015, a 120% cut Genoa with luff foam for furling at two stages, bringing it down to a 70% at its most reefed stage. Stainless steel lifelines replaced in 2017. Uh, a main, the standard Selden rig, which is a fractional rig at about 90%. Swept back spreaders. The uh, sail bag or um, dousing bag uh, is was completed in 2020 the sale main sale was replaced in 2018 uh, the bimini was done also in 2018 and has the hard glass in it so it's no need to be covered uh, it stays clear wipes up nice it's absolutely beautiful There are four winches, two primaries, two cabin tops, magma grill, and standard helm station. This boat has been converted over to an electric sail drive. There is no diesel on board. It gets an average of around 10 to 15 miles of motoring, plenty to get in and out of harbors and in the lee of the island when heading to the island. The decking is a soft foam decking that was done in 2020, actually 20, yeah, 2020, 2019. Um, it is been sealed at all edges with 4200 uh, and cleans up nice to this nice white look here. Uh, the soft lines were all replaced in uh, 2021 and the rig was replaced. All the standing rigging was replaced in 2020, March of 2022. The bottom was pulled and painted and the kill bolts reset and torqued in November of 2021. And all normal service has been completed. After coming down the companionway steps, you'll be greeted by a large salon area. The owner has removed the primary table for added space and comfort while underway. The table is available and will go with the boat and can be returned to its original location, mounted to the support post for the main <sighs> mast. Um, to the right, you will find storage behind these cupboards, sliding storage, and a stereo system with a Bluetooth option and CD player that goes to four speakers, two in the salon and two in the aft cabin. To port, there's a large added addition roller top storage unit that has additional space on top, as well as a liquor storage cabinet to port. All the headliners and lights 
in the headliners were redone in 2020 and include new LED pocket lights as well as customizable background lights that are generally left on red for night sailing but can work with music, do different colors, or add white light to the interior of the boat. Going forward, you'll find full six foot, four inches of headroom, uh, except for the support post for the mast. Uh, the captain is six foot two and just has to duck a little bit to get underneath that post. In the V-berth, there is over seven foot of space head to toe and at the shoulders is more than a queen. There are shelving storage on each side and forward a large locker up top with roll away wood. In the head forward cabin, there's also a sink so guests have a little privacy and can brush their teeth and do other things, as well as a TV that swings out into the main cabin. To port, there is a hanging locker with good room for plenty of clothes. There's additional storage underneath the V-berth, as well as the 80 gallon water tank. To port of the companionway, you will find the galley featuring a double sink with very deep wells, a two burner radiant stove that also has a broiler underneath the drop-in refrigerator the owner actively sails and uses the boat so you will find upon visiting normal supplies and then to aft is the main stateroom in the aft stateroom you will find a Queen Plus bed that has a new mattress from 2021. Ample storage on both sides with hanging lockers and more added roll away storage units, as well as slider storage on either side. There's also storage under the bed as well as an aft shower water tank for the uh, transom shower unit. The boat does come with an inflatable dinghy that's generally located in the aft state. At the helm you'll find all your normal controls, uh, VHF radio, uh, there is an AIS receiver and onboard Wi-Fi to display the uh, AIS signal on charts on the floating tablet, tablet that is used throughout the boat. Both 110 AC on 30 amp and 12 volt DC circuit breakers are located here. Below the chart table is the Xantrex 2500 inverter that is wired to 4800 watts of lithium iron phosphate batteries located underneath the SETI just forward. Aft of the chart table and to starboard of the companionway, you will find the one head is complete with shower sump built into the bottom of the boat. Currently, the shower has been removed. 
uh, there is the sink, storage, and head. New tank and plumbing was done in 2015 and the head was replaced in 2020. Panion Way, where you'd normally find a Yanmar diesel, that has been replaced with a Curtis AC20 motor and Curtis controller, an Elko 1500 watt battery charger, and two lithium ion Tesla battery packs. This combination gives you absolutely quiet and effortless motoring in and outside of the marina depending on speed you can motor for up to 10 miles with this setup additional batteries can be added and extending that range additionally the boat comes with a honda two kilowatt generator that can be run and you can charge the batteries as you motor allowing you three knot motoring as long as you have gas. Can take the high off you, them girl can take the high off you. My my yeah in my mind oh you my my can't take my mind off you baby or oh, come be my lady or oh, give me a baby get me talking can take the high off you them girl can take the high off you my my yeah in my mind oh you my my can't take my mind off you baby or oh, come be my lady Give me a baby, got me talking, can't take the high off you.